Greetings, YouTube world. Can you hear me? I'll talk a little louder. I got the flow hook going, so I'm just going to do a little routine thing here to show you how I chip plates. Instead of doing like a five key ways, I'm just going to show you the flow for transferring a culture. I have a plate here. You see up here in the corner, it's starting to look like mycelium. The other day when I checked it, it looked like bacteria. So I thought to myself, to save this culture, this mycelium, I'm going to have to chip it. to look like mycelium. But the other day it looked like bacteria. So either way, I don't know what it is and I don't like it. So I'm going to transfer it to a new plate. I have some fresh agar plates here and I'm going to transfer. I'm just going to let you watch. And then I'll talk about what I did. This one has the bacteria. See how it's glossy? That's bacteria. That's from touching the side while you're closing it up. Not having clean fingers. Not hot enough. those up and label them but what I was doing was putting the scalpel knife in the back disintegrator so it got red cherry red hot and then this is a jar of isopropyl alcohol it goes into the container with isopropyl alcohol cool it off but you don't want the tip to touch the bottom because it's super hot and it will bend your scalpel so only let it dip in to cool it off and then you want it to dry completely in front of the laminar flow air before you touch the mycelium. If you touch the isopropyl to the mycelium, you will kill it and it will soak up um, iso and just 
fill a section of it. You don't want that. Go slow, let it dry first before you go in and chip it. Meaning you're gonna go in and cut a little square, stab it with your scalpel knife and transfer it to the other plate. Now if you notice, where I saw the contamination here, I made sure that it was away from me. So any air that came through was flowing towards it, not catching it and covering my, my, my clean mycelium with anything that it may be. So I want to make sure that that contamination is on the far end of the receiver so that the lamer flow pushes it away from your sample. And then chipping it right into the middle, transfer a little square from the edge where you get the most aggressive, most active growing mycelium into the center of your new plate. And I typically put them upside down, but not always, depending on how new or active they are. If they're older and non-active, upside down like a sandwich, or agar to agar. And if it's alive, it'll grow aggressively. If it's actively growing, you don't need to do that. Facing up is fine, it'll grow. And then I'm going to wrap it with my parafilm and label it and hope that it's not contaminated. All right, YouTube world, I appreciate um, you watching my videos. Go be a fun guy. Go be a fun guy. Enjoy the day.